and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of Al Fresco magic. Um, Al Fresco is not a restaurateur, but an Italian restaurant. Al Fresco is the fact I'm sitting here outside on this beautiful sunny day in our, my beautiful garden. Now, I'm going to need a couple of helpers for this. Well, we don't actually have people here, so I'll use playing cards. And I'm going to use the King of Clubs and uh, the King of Spades. These two cards are going to help me in just a moment. So there are the two Black Kings. Now, the two Black Kings are going to locate a card in the deck. Well, we've shuffled the cards, but I'm going to try and find the best card in the deck. Do you know what the best card in the deck is? Well, if I twist the cards and do that, yeah, it's the Ace of Spades. And there, folks, is the uh, Ace of Spades. That's the leader. Now, I'll do it with the Kings face up. I'll turn them face down. Instantly, they capture a card, uh, the Ace of Diamonds. That's the second Ace. Let's do it again with the third Ace. I should be able to get the Ace of Hearts, and there it is. And then the last one is the Ace of Clubs. So I've captured all four Aces. Clubs, Hearts, Spades and Diamonds. Now, in Magic there's a, a, a routine where you place uh, three cards on top of each Ace and I'm going to do it for you right now. Uh, three cards on top of each Ace and uh, watch very closely with the uh, Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Clubs. If I do this and this, the Ace of Clubs, yeah, it vanishes. It's gone. Let's do it with the uh, Ace of Hearts. What's the Ace of Hearts? I'll make the Ace of Hearts vanish, and there it's gone. The Ace of Hearts has vanished. So, the next one to go is the Ace of Spades. The big bullet, the big one. What's the Ace of Spades vanish? And that should, yeah, that's gone too. So the Ace of Spades has vanished as well. The last one is always the hardest one. That's the Ace of Diamonds over here. What's the Ace of Diamonds? I take the Ace of Diamonds, it will vanish a little bit slower this time and the Ace of Diamonds has vanished, it's gone. But they've gone somewhere, where have they gone? You're probably asking. Well, let me just shuffle the cards and tell you I can find uh, the first Ace, the Ace of Diamonds, by spelling it. So, T-H-E, the A-C-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, there's the Ace of Diamonds. And if you want to get the other Aces, that's easy. The, ace, the other Aces are right here. Now, whilst we've got the Aces out of the deck, I want to show you how the card cheats control cards in a game of, uh, let's say, poker or something like that. So, as you can see, the Aces are on the top of the deck. Now, if I give the cards a couple of cuts, that will obviously lose the Aces to somewhere in the centre. A couple of shuffles will do the same thing. Now, the way I'm shuffling now is the way that we shuffle in the United Kingdom. Uh, in America, when they shuffle the cards, they give the cards a, a riffle shuffle. But so you can see it happen, I'm going to do it in the hands. And I want you to hopefully agree that is the best shuffle ever. Look, those cards are mixed. But I'm going to try and locate the aces. Now, it's not easy to do, but let me try this for you. The first one I should be able to cut to with one hand, that's the ace of hearts. No ace there, no ace there. I could do it again. If you were here, I'd get you to check the cards and square them up for me. The second one is the ace of spades. Always the ace of spades, no ace there. I can do it without even looking. Because if I look away, I can tell you the third ace is exactly, yeah. 15th from top, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No ace there and no ace there. The last one is the hardest one to get because there's only one left, the ace of diamonds, which is exactly halfway in the deck, and there it is, the ace of diamonds. And that is magic. 